Hello mga anak shis! Welcome to Math TV PH. Ang channel na ito ay tungkol sa math tutorials, lectures, or discussions na Tagalog at Taglish na dedicated sa lahat ng mga estudyante. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Number 1 example, solve x over 3 plus 12 over x is equal to x minus 2. Ang goal natin dito ay i-eliminate natin ang denominator na 3 at x. Para matanggal si 3 at x, kailangan natin kunin yung LCD. At ang LCD nito ay simple lang, 3 times x that will be 3x. Pero not all the times na ganyan ang gagawin natin. Magbibigay ko ng ibang examples na dalawang terms yung nasa denominator. So, yung 3x, ang gagawin natin dyan ay i-multiply natin sa both left and right side. 3x multiplied by x over 3 plus yung LCD na 3x times 12 over x is equal to 3x times ito, x minus 2. Then, simplify. 3x times x, that will be 3x squared over 3. Plus, 3x times 12 is equal to 36x over x. Is equal to, i-distribute natin to dito. 3x times x, that will be 3x squared. 3x times negative 2 is equal to negative 6x. Then, simplify. Ang, ano ang pwede natin i-cancel dito? Yung 3 dito at yung x. So, ang makukuha natin quadratic equation ay x squared plus 36 is equal to 3x squared minus 6x. Para ma-transform natin to sa quadratic equation, i-transpose natin to lahat doon sa Left side at gawing nating 0 dito by using the addition property of equality. Meron tayong mga examples about dito. Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yun, i-click nyo lang dito para malaman ninyo kung paano mag-transform ng mga ganitong examples. So, ilipat natin dito sa kabila magiging negative 3x squared plus x squared. Then, yung negative 6x magiging positive 6x plus 36 is equal to 0. Next, combine like terms. Negative 3x plus x squared is equal to negative 2x squared plus 6x plus 36 is equal to 0. Kung mapapansin ninyo ay pwede nating i-divide to by greatest common factor na negative 2 para maging positive yung coefficient natin dito. So, i-divide natin to lahat sa negative 2 at ang makukuha nating quadratic equation ay Negative 2x squared divided by negative 2, that will be x squared. Positive 6x divided by negative 2 is equal to negative 3x. Positive 36 divided by negative 2 is equal to negative 18 is equal to 0. Ngayon, kung mapapansin ninyo ay pwede natin itong isolve by factoring. So, by factoring, maglagay tayo ng dalawang parentheses. Since x squared dito ay x at x, dito ang sign natin sa last term ay negative at sa middle term naman ay negative. Ibig sabihin, ang sign ng factor natin ay positive at negative. Para makuha yung factor natin, mag-isip tayo ng number na kapag multiply natin ay magiging negative 18 at kapag in naman natin ay magiging negative 3. Since negative ang middle term natin, kagaya nga ng mga sinabi ko, magpa-factor tayo ng quadratic trinomial kapag negative ang middle term, dapat mas malaking number ang negative. So, ano ang number natin? That is 6 and 3. So, hindi pa yan ang sagot. Pwede naman ninyong gamitin lahat ng method na tinuro ko sa mga nauna by quadratic, by completing, by extracting, pero ito ang pinakabest dito sa example na to. So, para makuha natin yung roots, equate natin to sa 0. Kunin muna natin yung nauna. x plus 3 is equal to 0. 
i-transpose natin sa kabila, mag-change ng sign is equal to negative 3. Next, so ito yung first root natin. Next, yung second root, x minus 6 is equal to 0. I-transpose natin yung negative 6, magiging positive 6. Di lahat ng nakukuha nating roots ay solution ng quadratic equation. Kaya, kailangan nating i-check para malaman kung tama nga yung mga nakuha nating roots sa pamamagitan ng substitution. I-substitute natin yung mga nakuha nating roots sa original equation. So, unahin natin yung negative 3. x is equal to negative 3 over 3 plus 12 over x is negative 3 is equal to x is negative 3 minus 2. Then, simplify. Negative 3 divided by 3, that is negative 1. 12 divided by negative 3, that is negative 4. Is equal to negative 3 minus 2, negative 5. Negative 1 minus 4 is equal to negative 5. Is equal to negative 5. Kung equal sila, ibig sabihin yung negative 3 ay solution ng equation natin. Next, substitute naman natin yung positive 6 dun sa equation. So, x is positive 6 over 3 plus 12 over x is 6 is equal to 6 minus 2. Simplify, 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2 plus 12 divided by 6 is equal to 2 is equal to 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. Simplify, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, is equal to 4. Equal sila, ibig sabihin, yung positive 6 ay solution din ng equation natin. Another example, number 2, solve 4x minus 6 over 2x minus 3 is equal to 7 over x plus 1. Kung mapapansin ninyo, ang rational algebraic expression na to ay in proportion form. Ibig sabihin, the product of the extremes is equal to the product of the means. So, pwede natin i-apply dito yung cross multiplication. So, 4x minus 6 times x plus 1 is equal to the product of the means. That is 7 times 2x minus 3. Next, multiply the binomials. So, naituro ko na rin kung paano mag-multiply ng binomials using the FOIL method. 4x times x, that is 4x squared. Then, 4x times positive 1, that is positive 4x. Negative 6 times x, that is negative 6x. Negative 6 times positive 1, that is negative 6. Yun yung FOIL method. Is equal to... Dito naman, ang gagamitin natin ay by distributive property, 7 times 2x is equal to 14x. Then, 7 times negative 3 is equal to negative 21. Next, simplify the equation. Combine like terms, 4x squared. 4x minus 6x, that is negative 2x minus 6 is equal to 14x minus 21. Next, itranspose natin itong 14x minus 21 doon sa kabila using the addition property of equality. So, magiging 4x squared minus 2x minus 6 ito magiging negative 14x ito naman magiging positive 21 is equal to 0. Then, combine like terms 4x squared, negative 2x minus 14x, that is negative 16x. Then, negative 6 plus 21 is equal to positive 15. Kasi magkaiba na sila ng sign, 21 minus 6 is equal to 15 equals 0. Now, ang nakuha nating equation ay 4x minus 16x plus 15. Again, pwede nating gamitin yung solving quadratic equations by factoring na nai-discuss ko na sa mga noon na kong videos. Pwede nyo naman gamitin lahat ng method pero para sa akin ay factoring ang gagamitin ko dito. 
So, kung may quadratic trinomials tayo na greater than 1 ang A, ang pinakamabilis na technique ay to use the diamond method and Xbox method. Pwede nyo pa rin naman gamitin yung trial and error method, pero mas matagal kasi at mas time consuming. So, kung first time ninyong marinig to, at kung gusto nyo pang matutunan yung ganitong method, then comment down below. So, unahin natin yung diamond method. So, maglagay tayo ng x dyan na malaki. Dito sa taas ay yung value ng a times c. So, the value of a here is 4 times 15 is equal to 60. Then, ang ilalagay naman natin dito ay yung b, which is negative 16. Dito naman, ang ilalagay nyo dito ay yung product ng 60 na kapag in mo ay magiging negative 16. Since ang quadratic equations natin ay positive ang third term at negative ang middle term, ibig sabihin negative at negative ang factor. So, mag kayo ng number na kapag minultiply nyo ay magiging positive 60 at kapag in nyo naman ay magiging negative 16. That is, negative 10 and negative 6. Now, Hindi pa yan yung final answer. Next, nagagawin ninyo, mag-drawing kayo ng box. Hatiin natin sa apat. So, ang ilalagay natin dito ay yung value ng A, that is 4x squared. Then, dito naman, value ng C, that is 15. Then, i-input natin dito yung nakuha natin factors together with the variables na x. So, negative 10x at negative 6x. So, paano nga ba itong Xbox method? Ano ang common term dito sa 4x squared and negative 10x? That is 2x. Then, dito naman sa first row, ano ang common sa 4x squared and negative 6x? That is 2x. Then, Negative 6x divided by 2x, that will be negative 3. Next, 15 divided by negative 3, that will be negative 5. So, our factor now is 2x minus 3 and 2x minus 5. So, ito na yung factor natin. Ngayon, ilalagay na natin dito sa equation natin. So, 2x minus 3 times 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. Para ma-check nyo pala kung tama yung sagot niyo, 2x times 2x, that will be 4x squared. Negative 3 times 2x is equal to negative 6x. And 2x times negative 5 is equal to negative 10x. Negative 3 times negative 5, that is positive 15. So, kaya natin nakuha yung factor na to. Para makuha natin yung roots, again, equate natin to into 0. So, unahin natin itong unang factor. That will be 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. So, i-transpose natin yung negative 3 sa kabila, magiging positive 3. So, 2x is equal to 3. Para matira yung x, i-divide natin by 2. So, x is equal to 3 halves. Ito yung first root natin. Next, yung second root natin, 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. I-transpose natin si negative 5, so magiging 2x is equal to positive 5. Para matanggal si 2, i-divide natin both sides by 2. So, x now is equal to 5 over 2. Okay, so para ma-check natin kung tama yung sagot natin, i-substitute natin yung mga roots doon sa equation. So, unahin natin yung 3 over 2. If x is equal to 3 over 2, then 4 times 3 over 2 minus 6 over 2 times 3 over 2 minus 3 is equal to 7 over 3 over 2 plus 1. Then simplify. 4 times 3 is equal to 12. 
divided by 2 is equal to 6 minus 6 is equal to 0 over 2 times 3 is equal to 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3 minus 3 is equal to 0 equals 7 over 3 halves plus 1 using the LCD ang makukuha dyan ay 5 over 2 so 0 is not equal to 7 over 5 over 2. Ibig sabihin, yung 3 over 2 is not a root of the quadratic equation. So, ito ay false. Ngayon, itry naman natin yung 5 over 2. So, by substitution, 4 times 5 over 2 minus 6 over 2 times 5 over 2 minus 3 is equal to 7 over x is 5 over 2 plus 1. Next, simplify. 4 times 5 is equal to 20 divided by 2 is equal to 10. Minus 6 is equal to 4. Over 2 times 5 is equal to 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. Minus 3 is equal to 2 equals 7 over 5 halves plus 1 will be 7 over 2. So, ang makukuha nating sabot dyan ay 4 divided by 2 that will be 2 equals. So, dito 7 divided by 7 over 2 kapag nag-divide tayo ng fraction 7 times the reciprocal of the divisor that is 2 over 7 by cancellation method makakancel to ang magiging sagot niya ay 2 so 2 is equal to 2 ibig sabihin ibig sabihin yung 5 over 2 ay solution or roots ng quadratic equation na ito